Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you very, very much. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we do a brand new video. Buckets, how often? Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So if you love sneakers, trust me or trust us, I should say, you have come to the right place. Also, if you do enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way. It's something super simple, but it does help the channel grow. And it's definitely a way that you can support. So thank you for rocking with us. And on that note, it is time. This is a sneaker. There's been a lot of hype around them. That's probably even an understatement. I've been looking forward to getting a pair down here at the workshop to dive into and check out in person, in hand, and here they are. Three, two, one, bang, bang. The Nike SB Dunk Low Chunky Dunky. These just released and retail was a hundred bucks. I know it's crazy to think about. A hundred dollars and they're reselling for like two grand right now. A 2000% price increase on the resale market. And that's just wild. It goes to show you what hype can do. Shouts to our people over at Kicks R for us for tossing us this pair to review. Unfortunately, this is not my size. I am still on the hunt for my personal pair. I struck out this morning on the sneakers app like most of us did. I think sometimes people assume if you have a YouTube channel like we do here, that you have instant, easy access to every hyped release ever made. And that is definitely not the case. So it is what it is. I guess the real question is, are these worth the fucking hype? And I suppose the answer is yes and no. I will tell you one thing. There's no way I would pay two grand for these personally. And that's not to say I don't like them because I do think it's a dope sneaker. I do. I like them a lot. I just don't think I would wear them much. To me, it's more of a collector's piece. I know some people will disagree and that's fine. I'm just saying for me personally, this feels more like a piece for the collection. And if you know me, you know I like to wear my sneakers. So the fact that I don't see me wearing these much, it kind of lessens what I would be willing to spend on them, if that makes sense. So that's half the answer. No, not worth the hype. The other half is yes, because people are paying those prices. That is the market, supply and demand. They're worth what we say they're worth. Who sets the market? We do. So it depends how you look at it. Leave a comment below and let us know, do you think these are worth the hype? I'm giving you my opinion. Buckets, what do you think? No. Buckets says no. Buckets is always gonna say no. He is the anti-hype beast. Now, I'm sure most of you are aware. You're familiar with this sneaker. This is Nike SB teaming up with Ben & Jerry's, the iconic ice cream company out of Vermont. Two things I'm a big fan of. Quite frankly, I might be a little too much of a Ben & Jerry's fan. One too many pints at 2 a.m. for your boy. But I do think they knocked this concept out of the park. As far as the execution of it goes, incredible job, no question. Turning the chunky monkey Ben & Jerry's flavor into the chunky donkey. 
You got the cow print, as you can see. Blue skies. Green hills. Drippy gold swoosh. Clouds on the back. Almost a tie-dye camo on the inside. Nike SB, chunky dunky patch on the tongue. I love how the tongue is all cow print, by the way. I'm a sucker for the animal prints on sneakers. I always have been. Crispy white laces. And there are also two extra sets of laces, green and gold. Nike embroidered on the heel and the Ben and Jerry's patch on the back of the tongue. If it's not fun, why do it? A Ben and Jerry ism for your head top. White midsole, all green bottoms. As far as the concept goes, like I said, I think they nailed it. The funny thing is, these didn't seem to initially be too hyped up. Usually a sneaker that ends up being this hyped, man, you can tell right out of the gate that they're gonna be on fire, everyone's gonna be going after a pair. Think about the Dior Jordan 1 that hasn't even released yet. The instant picture surfaced, you could just smell the hype. It was scorching hot right out of the gate. The Chunky Dunky was weird because at first, I saw lots of tweets and social media responses kind of like, eh, it's a goofy sneaker, I don't want them, these are stupid. And over the span of the next few weeks, things really escalated in that regard. A guy that I've known for a long time via Twitter, his name is Andy Oliver, he said exactly that same thing. These just felt like a slower burn hype-wise. Usually you can tell, okay, it's an off-white sneaker, we know what's gonna happen here. Yup, it's the Travis Scott Jordan 1. Everyone is gonna want a pair. You can just tell, you can feel it. So these were a little weird as far as that goes. Buckets, do you agree? Yeah, probably. Just a much slower burn is what it felt like. But maybe I should have known that this was the destination we would end up at because Nike SB hype is through the roof right now. Through the roof, just generally speaking. You know, a year ago, even maybe six months ago, it was bubbling. Hype was in the air, but now, now it is just absolutely nuts. And that's just how it goes sometimes. We've talked about it a lot in different videos, the nature of sneakers, the ebb and flow of it all. But I will say this, lots of people say, oh, you didn't like this sneaker or this brand or this model a couple years ago. Why do you like them now? And in this case, it's the Nike SB. But if we're being honest, and this isn't always the case, but I do feel it's the case here with Nike SB, a couple years ago, they just weren't putting out as good of a product. They weren't. I've said this for a long time, but when Nike SB puts energy, I mean real energy into its sneakers, they're received very well. That's what made those early SBs so dope. The bolder collaborations, the colorways, the thinking outside the box, the way they were executed, the different materials they used, the special boxes, all of it. When they put that type of effort and energy into things, the sneakers are just way better. And it feels like that's what they're doing again. You know, if you used to tune into our videos here on this very channel years ago, you probably saw a lot more Nike SBs. And that's back when they were doing a lot cooler stuff, in my opinion. So it kind of seems like we have returned to that point. Buckets, do you agree with that? I do agree with that. There you go. So I think it's dope to see, even though it means there will be more hype that inevitably comes with the territory, it'll be harder to get sneakers. I still think it's cool to see Nike SB flourish again. I'm here for it personally. On a scale of one to 10, you know we gotta give it the official rating before we get out of here. I'm gonna give them an eight and a half out of 10. Buckets, what do you think? Six. Six out of 10 for the anti-hype bees. I think eight and a half out of 10. I kinda wanted to say nine, but I'm gonna stick with an eight and a half. How about you? 
What are your thoughts? Are these worth the hype in your opinion? On a scale of one to 10, what are you rating these? Were you able to get a pair? And if so, are you gonna wear them or are you gonna sell them? When a sneaker is valued at as much as these are valued at, that's a very, very real question. How do you feel about Nike SB in general? And maybe the most, not maybe, the most important question of all, what is the best Ben & Jerry's flavor of all time? For me, it is half-baked. Buckets, what do you think? Cherry Garcia. Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker. Got nothing else. Adios. Cherry Garcia, that's a sleeper. No, it's not a sleeper at all. I mean, Hagen-Dazs coffee if we're keeping it a buck. Oh, wow.